Elizabeth Simmons. Well, Bob. Mama? Goodness, look at you. In that kindergarten dress. Wenla, grown-up girls cannot be seen strutting about Let me wear this one, Mama. I love this one. Makes me feel like a little fairy queen. But you're already in bloom. Now, shh. You made me forget all of our good news. Just imagine, Wendla. Last night, the stork finally visited your sister, brought her another little baby girl. Oh, Mama, I can't wait to see her. We'll put on a proper dress, take a hat. Mama, don't be cross, don't be, but I'm an aunt now for the second time, and I still have no idea how it happens. Mama, please, I'm ashamed to even ask, but then who can I ask but you? Wendla, child, you cannot imagine that but I But you can... cannot imagine I still believe in the stork. I honestly do not know what I have done to deserve this kind of talk on you... a day like today. Go, put your clothes on. And if I run out now and ask Gregor, a chimney sweep? Very well, I'll tell you everything. But not today, tomorrow. Or the day after that. Today, Mama. Well, Bergman, I simply cannot. Mama. You will drive me mad. Why? I only let your feet lay my head on your lap. You can talk as if we weren't even here. Very well, I'll tell you. Yes? Child, I can't do this. Mama. All right. In order for a woman to conceive, a child. You follow me? Yes, Mama. For a woman to bear a child, she must, in her own personal way, she must love her husband. Love him as only she can love him. Only him. She must love with her whole heart. Now you know everything. Everything? Yes. Yes, everything. So help me. Elizabeth Simmons. Adult woman number two. Well, well, Fräulein Nuppeldick. Herr Nuckenbrook. Now that, that skittish near a facic moron, Moritz Teufel has somehow managed to pass our middle term exams. It would appear we face a certain dilemma. Ah! The upper grade, as we know, will hold only 60. I hardly think we can promote 61. Hardly, Herr Nockenbrook. Let us look to the finals ahead. Yes! Remember, it is I who shall be marking them. Then I am assured the good name of our school is secure. Elizabeth Simmons. Adult woman number three. Herman. This is our son. For 15 years, my darling, I've followed your lead. We've given the boy too much room. And now we must eat of the bitter fruit. He's shown himself utterly corrupt. He has not. Hear me out. But I have heard you out. Melchor wrote an essay, every word of which was true. Are we so afraid of the truth? We will join the ranks of cowards and fools, twisting his naive act into evidence against him. I will not have Melchor sent to some reformatory pent up with, with degenerates and genuine criminals. And now I must break your heart. This afternoon, Frau Bergman came to see me bearing a letter which Melchior wrote to young Wendler. 
telling her he has no regret for what transpired in our hayloft. Impossible. That he only longs to find again that bit of paradise. Let me see that. Yes, do have a look. The wretched fact is, Melchior knew precisely what he was doing. And as that essay shows, he knew the danger of doing it. And yet he went ahead, deviling himself and all but destroying that girl. So you tell me, Fanny, what shall we do? What you will. A reformatory.